In this Trezor Model T setup tutorial, I'm going to show you how to physically set up your device step by step while also showing all the possible benefits and security features. Then I will show you how to set up your Trezor Suite app the correct way and then connecting it to MetaMask to make transactions. So make sure to stick with me till the end for that. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your Trezor Model T here and what you need is three items. The Trezor Model T, your recovery sheet and your USB-C cable. So the first step is to peel off this sticker here. And now we want to connect our USB-C cable from the computer into our Trezor to power the unit. Now from the URL trezor.io slash start, we'll need to download their desktop app. And depending if you have a Mac or Windows, you'd click and download that one and then we'll go through the installation process. And from our Trezor Suite app, you can see here our device is connected, but the firmware is not installed and it needs to begin setup. So we click on begin setup here, and then click on setup Trezor. Install the firmware, and now we'll let the Trezor restart, then click continue, and now we have two options. Create a new wallet or recover an existing wallet into this wallet. So I'll show you both methods, but I'll show you how to create a new wallet first. If you want to do the second option, then skip to the next step in the timestamp below. Now we click create new wallet. We want to use the standard seed backup. And now we'll need to confirm this on our Trezor by clicking on the tick button here. Now we want to click on create backup. Now we need to read and click on these three things to make sure you understand and then click on begin backup. Go to your device and tap I understand. Now comes the part of writing down our 12 word recovery phrase onto our sheet here. Now while I write down my 12 word seed phrase, don't bother trying to get into this wallet because there'll be no funds in there. I'm only using and creating this wallet and showing you the seed phrase for this tutorial only. But if you want to try it out, be my guest. So now once you've written down your 12 word seed phrase, then hold this button here. Now we have to reconfirm these words. So for the first one, it's energy. So I will tap energy. The eighth word is universe. And the 12th word is pattern. There it is. You're finished verifying your recovery seed. And then you can click on continue. Continue again. Now our wallet backup has been completed. We can move on to creating the pin code. Click continue to pin on the computer and then click on set pin. Now back to the Trezor, you would tick here and then enter your new pin. For this example, I'm just going to use one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and tick and then re-enter your pin. You can see the uniqueness of your Trezor is that every time the numbers are reconfigured so that it's never the same on the keypad. So that's going to make it hard for anyone to guess your pin code. Click continue and then back to your Trezor suite and then continue from there. Now you want to pick the coins that you want to use and for this example I just keep it at Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. You can always add more later on if you want to. And then click on complete setup. Now we want to access the suite and I'm happy to select the standard wallet for now as well. Now in this next step you can understand why this 12 word seed phrase is so important to keep and not share with anyone as you'll need it to cover your existing wallet account. Here's something that's safe to share, I promise, is a like button on this video. I guarantee that it's safe, so you can go ahead and do that now. So now I'm gonna first go ahead and reset the Trezor back to the factory settings. Disconnect my Trezor and connect it again. And now I'm gonna to go to set up my Trezor, continue, and now instead of choosing the create new wallet, I'm going to recover my existing wallet. Now click on start recovery. From my Trezor device, hit the green tick. Hit select. And I'm going to choose 12. Enter the seed. And now I'm going to have to type in all these 12 words in one by one. It is tedious, but it shows you the importance of getting it right the first time, letter by letter, so you can successfully recover your wallet. So now my first word is energy. So now you can see here, 
Once I type in the first four letter, it's gonna help me out if it's the right word. So in this case it is, so I would tap the word and tap again. And now I would do the same for the rest of the 12 words. And once you've successfully entered in all 12 words, you can click on continue. And now from your treasure suite on the computer, click on continue. Set your pin again from the treasure, tick it, and then I'll do one, two, three, four. Hit continue. And now from the treasure suite, continue back to selecting the coins and then click on complete setup and access your suite. Now I'm gonna show you all the things you can do on the treasure suite. First of all, you can go to settings and under application, if you scroll down to suite version, you can check for updates. And if your treasure suite needs updating, it can be done here. Similarly for your treasure device, if you go to device and then check your firmware version and it says up to date, but if it needs updating, here is also where you do it. That's very important to know. Another thing you should double check is under device and auto lock time here, it should always be set to something. And I always recommend anything under an hour. This will auto lock your treasure suite device and keep your account safe. Now, if you wanna add some cryptocurrencies and you didn't do it previously, then you can go to crypto and then simply click on a token that you wanna add. For example, here, Ethereum. And if I also want to add something like Cardano, I can click on that as well. And then you would just go back to your account, give it a second to load. And now you can see your Ethereum and Cardano accounts have popped up on the left side here. Now for this next step, I'm going to show you how to send and receive cryptocurrency. So we'll start off with receiving the crypto. So we'll first choose the crypto we want, and it's Bitcoin in this case. Now we'll click on receive and then click on show full address. Tap the tick button on your Trezor. Now click copy, and this time I'm gonna buy some crypto from FTX, which is my preferred exchange at the moment. And if you wanna use the same one as well and get some discounts on the trading fees, you can check out the links here or in the description as well. So I'm just gonna buy $20 worth and I'll quickly do it so I'll make a market order. Click buy, and now I'll withdraw my Bitcoin. And right here in the BTC address, I'll paste in the Trezor address that we just copied before. And for the withdrawal method, you click BTC, Put in my code and click on withdraw. And now we go back to our Trezor Suite app. Give it a few moments for your funds to arrive. Now we can see the funds have arrived in our account. And a quick note here, if you want to create new addresses for your Bitcoin or any wallets, you just have to click on show full address and it's going to produce a new wallet address for you. So now we're done with the receiving. Let's go and send some crypto. So I'll go back to my accounts, click on send. Now we need to go and get our Bitcoin address. In this case, I'm going to use FTX again. Click on deposit and I'll copy my Bitcoin address, paste it into here. Now I'll just send back 0.001. Next, you choose the fee that you want to pay. For example here, if you're not in a rush and you can wait four hours, then you choose low. Or you can choose economy, normal, or even high if you need to send it really fast. For me, I'm not in a rush here, so I'll just choose economy. And you click on review and send. And now you're going to see this pop up on your Trezor device to confirm 0.0001 BTC transferring to this exact address. And if that's right, then you would tap the tick button and then you would hold to confirm. And now we go back to our Trezor Suite app and click on send. And that's it. You can see our transaction is being made and it will go through when the block comes. And quickly, for some reason, if you change your mind and need the funds more urgently, and you can go to this bump fee button to process this transaction faster. A quick tip though, as always, when you're just sending money from a new device or new account, always send a minimal test amount to see that everything went through okay, and then send your big amount. Another thing worth noting is that you can buy crypto straight from your Trezor Suite device by clicking on buy BTC here, and this uses Invity to be able to let you buy and sell cryptocurrency. We know the rates here will never be as good as the top cryptocurrency exchanges, but it's just something for you to know in case you wanna do it here. Now I wanna show you something very important. If you're gonna be using anything DeFi related or NFT related, you're gonna to need to connect your Trezor Suite device to your MetaMask account. And I'll show you how to do this right now. So from your browser, I'm gonna assume that you've already installed and played around with MetaMask. If you haven't yet, I'll put a tutorial video for you on MetaMask showing you how to set it up and run it step by step in the description. 
But once you've got that, you would click here, click on connect hardware wallet, then click on Trezor, and then click continue. Now click on allow once, and click on export. We're gonna leave the seed phrase blank so that we can access the default wallet. Click on enter. We need to double check which is the right wallet to connect to. So I'm assuming it's gonna be 5DE4. But we'll go and check from our Trezor Suite wallet by going to the Ethereum wallet and then click on receive, click show full address, and it is 5DE4. So that's the one we're gonna choose and then click on unlock. And there's our Trezor device successfully connected to your MetaMask account. And now you'll be able to do everything and anything DeFi and NFT related. Now I'm going to show you how to send and receive funds to your Trezor device using MetaMask. So for this example, I'm going to use the Polygon Matic chain and here's our Trezor wallet. So we first want to receive some Matic into our wallet. So we would copy the wallet address, go to a different account of ours. I'm going to press send and I'm going to paste in my Trezor wallet address and I'll transfer 0.1 and you click next and then click on confirm. Now we can go back to our Trezor device. Give it a moment and you should see the 0.1 Matic arrive. And there it is, pretty much instant. And now if we want to send some Matic out of our Trezor wallet address, we would go to send, paste in the address we want to send to. In this case, I'm going to send it back to our original address. Select the amount, I'll say 0.05, click next. And if you're happy with a gas fee on Matic is really cheap, then you click on confirm. Now this is where MetaMask is gonna interact with your Trezor device. So now we will click on allow for this session. And then on your Trezor device, you'll need to go and approve this transaction. Here it is, 0.05 Matic sending to this address. If you're happy with that, then you would press the tick button, agree on the gas, and then hold to confirm the transaction. And there it is, our Matic is being sent out. Give it a few seconds again. And now you can see we have 0.0492 Matic left. Now, if you want more information on this Trezor Model T, then I recommend you check out this video where I go in depth in reviewing this device. But if you're looking for an alternative hardware wallet, then check out this video where I go through which are the best crypto hardware wallets for you. So check it out and I'll see you in the next tutorial.